What's up boys and girls, C. Lopez back once again with another tutorialism. Today I'm going to be looking at Virtual CZ by Plugin Boutique. A virtual CZ is an emulation of Casio's CZ range of hardware digital synthesizers that were popular towards the end of the 80s, early 90s, made famous by the likes of Moby, The Orb, Vince Clark, Jean-Michel Jarre to name but few. Now the CZ range utilise a form of synthesis known as phase distortion. Now I know we're all familiar with subtractive synthesis and FM synthesis but phase distortion synthesis is something that was unfamiliar to me until I got sent this uh, virtual CZ. So what I'm going to do is just do a quick run through of the different controls in this plugin, uh, how it behaves, and then I'm going to show you how I used it in a track. Now, Virtual CZ consists of two lines, which you can see represented here, line one and line two. Each line consists of two separate waveforms. And from what I can gather, the way that each line works is they alternate between whatever waveform you have in box one and box two on uh, correspondent cycles. So cycle one, you'll have whatever waveform you've got on, in box one. Cycle two, you'll have whatever waveform you've got on box two, so on and so forth. So we have eight different waveforms to choose from, which you can see represented in this little graphic here. So let's go through them. Uh, one, we have so. Two, we have a square. Three, we have a pulse. Four, double sign. Five, a so pulse. Six, like a resonant thing. Another resonant thing on seven. And a third one on eight. And like I said before, you mix and match between the eight. And you can click in the middle of the two boxes here if you want the same wave inside both boxes. So. Now one of the ways uh, phase distortion synthesizers work is they don't have any kind of uh, cutoff filter. What we do have is this DCW which I think stands for digit Digitally Controlled Wave. And this kind of works in a similar way. So we have it all the way up, and I'm just going to set the depth on the envelope to center. We can use this DCW to act as a kind of filter cutoff. And what this is doing is sort of alternating between the sine wave on fully closed and on fully open you have whatever waveforms you've got selected in these two boxes. Uh, you can have you can have uh, virtual CZ so you're just using line one or you can have line two on its own you can have line one and two together or you could have it so that it duplicates line one twice for you, kind of thing. So, get a bit of a fatter sound. So, if you duplicate the two lines, so we've got line one and line two, and the same goes for the uh, if you use line one and two together, you can detune the second line. So, you can detune it up by an octave. If you press this plus or minus, uh, button here, it'll go so that this is an octave down instead, and the same for the semitones. And you've got some fine tune in here. Uh, we also have, oh, hold on, we have a modulation button here, so you can switch between ring modulation. Uh, we have a vibrato here, 
Uh, which you can sync. I have running free. Different trigger modes, so between sync and free, and different shapes, you can have the vibrato. Okay, and to the right here, we have the different polyphony modes, so we can have it in poly, or legato, or mono. And when we have it in legato or mono, then we have we can turn on the unison and we have the choice of up to eight voice unison here and we can be tune them so if you're into making kind of ravey sounds this is the one for you Uh, the master section here we have portamento, uh, pitch bend range, and we can have the tuning here. We also have scaling, which gives you your um, your kind of velocity curves, after t after touch curves, and if you want to detune any of the notes by um, whatever, you could do it here. And you can also lock the lock these um, parameters here uh, for when you're switching between different presets. So let's lock that. And we've also got chorus here. Two different types of chorus. We've got chorus A, which is dim D, I'm not sure what that stands for, and CZ chorus. Both sounded kind of nice. Uh, we have pan function here, which kind of wide, widens your sound, and you can also lock the chorus and pan here as well by clicking this. Now, the other way that Virtual CZ differs from, I guess, what we call regular synthesizers is it doesn't immediately have. ADSR envelopes. You can switch to ADSR, which I'm sure I don't really need to run through, but by default we have MSEG envelopes, which I think stands for multi segment envelopes. And let's, let's show you how these work. So you can adjust the the depth of each step of the envelope by using this slider and the dial underneath controls the time. So as you can see with this we can quite easily build up some nice little sweeps and rises and whatnot. Okay, uh, we have the choice of using up to eight different segments. Uh, so this is this is chosen by this button on the right hand side of the envelope. On the left hand side we have this button here which is sustain and what this does is it chooses which part of the envelope you want to be sustained when you're holding down your key. So at the minute it's on one. So when I hold down one, we're kind of so we're kind of sustaining around here. If I switch this to two, you'll hear what happens. Hold on, let's speed this up so it's a bit more apparent. So let's go back to one. So you can see the sustain is sustaining right where the pitch is right at the top. If I switch it to two, it will sustain here and we get this. And so on and so forth. Now we've got the option to loop this. So we get this. Uh, 
and it's looping between these segments here. We have this depth control, which determines how much uh, pitch, uh, how much pitch range is going to be controlled by the pitch envelope. Seems that's uh, twelve. And we have velocity, so that the pitch envelope is controlled by the velocity. Okay, and we also have the ability to copy this pitch envelope, so I could copy it and move it down to here if I wanted to. Um, and we've also got this cool thing here, this randomize, which does what it says, randomizes the envelope. Let's reset that. Okay, so let's get on to the DCW envelope. Now the controls work in the exact same way as they do in the pitch envelope, and they also work the same way in the amp envelope. Now I'm just going to turn this uh, line one all the way down so we can hear the effect. And let's move this time. So what this is doing, when the envelope is at the, the bottom of the range, it's basically a sine wave. And as it moves, as it follows the envelope, when it gets to the top of the range, it's going to be whatever waveforms you have set here. And these controls work in the same way as the pitch, as I just mentioned. So let's play about and see what we can get. Okay, so that's the basic usage of the virtual CZ. Let's have a listen to how it sounds within the context of a track. Now, as with most of these hardware emulations, the virtual CZ is a little bit CPU intensive. Um, so I've had to freeze these tracks and I'll just unfreeze them as we go along. Uh, I think the CZ is still in version 1.0, so I'm sure this will be addressed in future updates. But anyway, here we go. Now, I'm using many presets, so I've started with presets for all the sounds in this track and I've just tweaked them accordingly towards the track. Um, some of them have got a little bit of compression, a little bit of EQ and a little bit of reverb which I've got on send a, but other than that, these are the sounds as is, as they come out of the box more or less. Okay, so the track at the minute is just drums and a little vocal sample. Let's have a listen to the bass. So I'm using this Anna Bello bass and just tweaked it a little bit and I'm automating the DCW here as you can see. There we go. Let's freeze that. That's a real fat kind of 80 sound and bass, really liking that. Uh, freeze on this track. I'm using this preset called Octave Pulse. Tweak that a little bit. Playing a chord with it. On its own, it sounds like this. So nice, nice, real interesting sound within the track. Sounds like nice okay let's freeze that let's unfreeze this and uh, next I've got this woody patch 
and let's have a look. So yeah, nice kind of wooden block type sound. A virtual CZ is real good at these kind of plucky wooden type sounds, real good at basses, and real good at these kind of pads. So yeah, those, these, that's why I've chosen these sounds specifically for this demo. And obviously with the way that those uh, MSTEG envelopes work, let's freeze this, it's real good at kind of background textures as well. So let's solo this one up. This one I've got a static storm, which again, it's another preset that I've played about with. And we've got this kind of white noise type thing. Alright, so let's listen to how the track sounds with the four instances of Virtual CZ on. So really liking this synth, as you can hear, it's got a, quite a fat, meaty sound to it. Uh, once you get your head round how this phase distortion synthesis works, it's, it's real easy to use. And yeah, I guess a thumbs up from me. So that's it for now. C. Lopez, Tutorialism, peace. <laughs>